Good morning. Today, we will be discussing the various systems and ideologies that govern the distribution and exercise of power within our society. We will look at different models of political systems and ideologies, and how they can aid us to become more aware and involved citizens. During this discussion, our aim is to encourage democracy through a better understanding of each other and appreciation for the same. Let us begin. Politics have a huge impact on our lives and this presentation will help you gain a better understanding of political systems and ideologies. We'll explore the fascinating world of politics, from elections to government structures and the impact they have on people's lives. Dive into the exciting world of politics so you can become a more informed and engaged citizen. Systems of governance are essential to numerous aspects of our daily lives. Such systems provide the method by which societies organize to take action and distribute resources. Ranging from democracies to autocracies, these structures vary greatly in form and function. To promote democracy and utilize the potential of peace, it is important to understand the implications of these different systems. Awareness of political systems is vital due to their sway over our lives. Political systems can shape our economy, social matters and foreign policy. Under a democratic system, citizens are able to choose representatives and also hold them responsible for their actions. This offers an opportunity to alter the course of our country, as we can use our ballots to create alterations. However, in authoritarian systems, citizens have very limited power in terms of how they live and are ruled, causing this type of government to be vulnerable to bribery, human rights mistreatment and economic disparity. Understanding the diverse political systems available encourages us to make sound decisions on the management of our society. In the modern world, the political landscape is complex and diverse. Numerous political ideologies exist, vying to shape society in different ways. Liberalism prioritizes individual freedom, democracy and human rights, while conservatism emphasizes tradition, order and stability. Socialism and communism also sit on the political spectrum, advocating for collective ownership and redistribution of wealth. This presentation aims to increase democracy potential through understanding of these political systems and ideologies. Good morning everyone. Today, we will be discussing the different structures of government found around the world. Democracy, monarchy, and dictatorship are the most common forms, each with unique characteristics and ways of operating. In a democracy, the people hold the power, and decisions are made using a voting system. Monarchy is a form of government wherein an individual, usually a king or queen, rules the country and inherits the position from their family. Lastly, a dictatorship is a form of government where all power is held by a single person. When comparing these government structures, you must consider how they affect the lives of citizens in the country. Understanding the differences between them can be incredibly beneficial in terms of how a country is governed and how its citizens are treated. Thank you for your attention. The democratic process is an essential element of any democracy. It involves the selection of representatives who are chosen by the people to take decisions on their behalf. Citizens have the right to take part in the election of their leaders by registering to vote and then participating in the campaign period, where candidates present their plans and policies and the public can engage with them. Finally, on election day, citizens cast their votes and the candidate with most votes is elected into office. This is crucial for empowering democracy through the potential raised with love. Voting is a fundamental right in any democracy, and a powerful tool that all citizens have access to. By casting your ballot, you are contributing to the collective decision-making process that affects all of us. This process can be even more powerful in close races, where a few votes can sometimes determine the outcome. In the 2000 US presidential election, for instance, 
George W. Bush won the state of Florida and the presidency by just 537 votes, highlighting how important every individual vote is. So, let's make our voices heard and exercise our right to vote. Voting is a fundamental right in any democracy. To be able to exercise this right, you must be a citizen of the country and meet the minimum age requirement. You must also be registered in the state or province in which you live. The process to register to vote may vary from place to place and can be done online, by mail, or in person. Therefore, it is important to research how to register in your area. In India, the Election Commission is responsible for conducting timely elections and keeping track of voter identity cards. Let us all do our part in the democratic process and register to vote. Political parties are vitally important for democracies to operate effectively. People with similar values and ideologies group together to establish candidates and policies that they deem best for their followers. Through participation in the electoral proceedings, people can vocalize their opinions regarding the progression of their nation. Additionally, political parties ensure that the collective wishes of the population are represented in the government, thus placing them at the very center of the democratic process. The media has a major part to play in politics, not only in terms of disseminating information but also in shaping public opinion and guiding political discourse. From the headlines and stories featured regularly on news outlets and social media platforms, it's clear that there's an agenda in play. Political campaigns are increasingly relying on the reach of social media to target potential voters and shape the political landscape. It's important that we use the media not simply to receive information, but to empower ourselves and build a strong, democratic society. Politics is highly dependent on money, from election campaigns to special interest groups. It's no secret that large donors and special interest groups have an outsized impact on the political process. A prime example of this is the Citizens United decision, which allows corporate entities and unions to spend an unlimited amount of money on political campaigns, giving rise to special action committees and further widening the power gap. It is vital to guarantee that all opinions have a channel, regardless of their financial resources. Only in this way can we sustain democracy and make it truly representational. Political activism is crucial for preserving a successful democracy. It is an avenue to make sure the thoughts and opinions of citizens are heard and respected, as well as make sure their interests are kept into consideration when laws are instituted and carried out. In the past, we have witnessed amazing presentations of political activism such as the Civil Rights Movement in the United States which led to the authentication of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. This exemplifies that when people join forces and make use of their collective strength for a better cause, even the most difficult objectives can be accomplished. Everyone can help empower our democracies. Let's jointly take action and make our presence known. The global landscape has grown increasingly interconnected and complex. Political systems and ideologies have a considerable bearing on our lives, making it important to take into account one's role in the political process. Participating in politics can be an effective way to ensure that your voice is heard and influence change in your locality. Volunteering for a political campaign, attending political rallies and town hall meetings, and joining a political organization are some of the steps you can take. Here at Garukilplex, we are devoted to bolstering democracy through lovingly awakened potential, thereby helping people to gain an improved knowledge of political systems and ideologies. Take action now and make a difference. Political systems can have a considerable impact on the lifestyles and interactions of people. In democratic countries, Individuals can make use of their right to vote and get involved in the decision-making process, bringing about greater responsibility of elected representatives and a more interactive and knowledgeable public. Meanwhile, in authoritarian systems like dictatorship or monarchies, power is concentrated in the hands of a few, 
which may lead to an absence of transparency and responsibility, as well as limited rights and freedom for citizens, for instance free expression, assembly, or access to information. It is essential for those who wish to make informed decisions in their personal and professional lives to be informed about political systems and current events. Knowing the different types of political systems, ideologies, and forms of government can enable us to better handle the difficulties of the world. Additionally, staying aware about current affairs allows people to be aware of topics that have an effect on their communities and the world. Through this knowledge, we are enabled to take action and have a positive effect on society. Social media has revolutionized politics, allowing politicians to spread their message instantly to millions of people. But it is not without its downsides. Fake news, misinformation, and biased algorithms can all lead to the public being misinformed and the exacerbation of polarization and division. We need to be mindful of these risks and use social media responsibly if we are to uphold democracy. Having access to so much information can be a benefit as well as a disadvantage. Critical thinking enables us to make sense of the abundance of data and arrive at sensible conclusions. It allows us to go deeper into an issue and think about it from every perspective, contemplating the implications and potential outcomes. This is particularly relevant to political systems and philosophies. We must be in a position to contemplate a subject, analyze the facts and develop our own conclusions. Critical thinking is imperative for making informed decisions and is a valuable asset when it comes to upholding democracy. Education is a fundamental pillar of any successful democracy. Ensuring citizens have access to the knowledge and understanding of how the political system works equips them to make educated decisions that ultimately benefit everyone. Quality education systems ensure students learn the basics of politics, history and civics, so they get a strong grasp of how their government functions and how they can actively contribute to the well-being of their society. Debate clubs and student government make up an important part of the educational journey, as they allow students to exercise their critical thinking, communication and leadership skills, while giving them the chance to gain first-hand political experience. By investing in our citizens through education, we can ensure the success of our democracy. Diversity in politics is essential for creating an environment where every voice can be represented and heard. Without it, some groups may be excluded or marginalized, preventing the implementation of equitable policies. With diversity, various perspectives and experiences come to the table, making sure all of our needs are taken into consideration. Having women in leadership roles can provide a great opportunity for policy that focuses on issues such as pay equity and reproductive rights, which are often neglected. Ultimately, diversity in politics is necessary if we want to foster a truly democratic and inclusive society. Governments have tremendous power to shape environmental impacts. For example, those pursuing economic growth might overlook environmental considerations, while those emphasizing sustainability may implement regulations that promote renewable energy and conservation. These diverging political choices also outline a nation's role in global climate action. Those intending to deny climate change often decline to participate in international environmental deals, while those cognizant of its severity have the opportunity to lead the charge for reducing emissions and safeguarding our planet. Environmental activism is an essential part of safeguarding our planet and its future. From social media drives to petitions and protests, collective action can bring about true transformation. We have witnessed this with the campaign to outlaw single-use plastics, resulting in laws passed in many nations. We all possess the ability to join forces and instigate positive transformation, so let's make an effort to look after our planet. We all need to protect and preserve the environment for future generations. Taking action to protect it can be done in various ways, 
like joining a local environmental group or organization to be part of events and campaigns to increase the awareness of environmental issues. Additionally, participating in protests and demonstrations to make our voices heard and express our support for the causes is another way to get involved. Let's all contribute to protecting the planet for generations to come. We appreciate having had the opportunity to present to you on political systems and ideologies. It is our hope that you have gained an improved comprehension of how these shape our lifestyles. We are convinced that by staying up to date with news, remaining aware, and becoming actively involved in the democratic process, it is possible for us to create a positive impact in our respective environments and ultimately contribute in shaping a more democratic society. Once more, thank you for your time and attention.